Hey y'all, Vampire Dracula back again with a little bit of a different video than we uh, normally have here on the channel, but uh, today we're going to show you how to get Kali Linux installed if you're getting a black screen as soon as you try to install it and launch the graphical user interface install. So here, let me uh, show you what I mean by that. So we're going to basically fire up this uh, freshly configured virtual box uh, VM here. Haven't installed it yet. This is basically just configuring it and putting the ISO into the uh, virtual optical drive and firing it up. So we come to the graphical user install here. We hit enter. We're going to be like, all right, we're going to set up Kali Linux. And what's going on? Why is it not working? So I'm going to show you how to fix this, uh, at least on my box and for my configuration and what worked. So on this host machine, I do have Hyper-V installed on here, and I believe that it's causing an issue with the virtual box and it not actually displaying the graphical user interface. As you can see, it's just sitting there not doing anything. So we're going to shut this uh, bad boy down here. And what I want you all to do is click on your start menu, type CMD into there, hold down shift, right click and run as administrator to get a administrative, an elevated command prompt uh, under administrative privileges launched. It's very important that you run this with elevated permissions. Then uh, all you gotta do is copy in this command here. I'll have a copy of it down in the description below so you can copy and paste it but basically it's bcd edit slash set hypervisor launch type off you want to hit enter you should see the operation completed successfully if you see something about permission errors and whatnot make sure you're launching command prompt as elevated permissions okay uh the system the host system does need to be rebooted for this uh, uh, to take effect so we will do that right now Okay, once your host machine has booted back up, we can go back into our uh, test box here, start it up, and it should load the graphical user interface at this point, and you should be off to the races. So here it comes, graphical user interface. We're gonna select enter here, and here we go. We're getting the, the little blinking cursor in the upper left-hand side. It means it's loading, starting, mounting, blah, 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 blah. And you can see it is actually working as intended now. And then you can basically go ahead with the setups for Kali and get you up and running. Uh, just so you all know, if you need to turn that setting back on that we turned off, if you need to use hypervisor or whatever else again, you basically want to put this command in bcd edit slash set hypervisor launcher type auto you hit enter again you have to do this under elevated permissions i'll have a copy of that code in the description below so uh, if this information helped you out and get kali linux installed in VirtualBox when you were getting a blink black box before i would appreciate you letting me know in the comment section below also, if you found value in this video, please like it, and I would also appreciate your subscription to this channel. We post a variety of content, so you never know what we're going to post up here at Vampire Direct Cool. But appreciate y'all stopping by. Y'all have a great day.